Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to show your work on these problems online. So um, you notice here in this assignment question number three has an SW next to it. Well SW means show work. So let's see what that means. So I'll click to open the question. And let's see what we have here. So we still we have um, on all of the show work questions we will have 75% of the points determined by the auto graded answer that you type in here and 25% of the points assigned to the work that you show here. So what we'll do is first do the work on paper, show our work, we'll type in the answer and check to see if it's correct. If it's correct then we will upload our work here. So I'm going to take a little pause here and do the problem and then we'll see what happens. And I'm back. So the answer that I got was 43 over 5. So I'll type that in, enter, and it is correct. Now typically I would just go to next question, but since I still need to show my work, I will just use the X here and I'll come back and show my work. Now here's the thing. This gives you a whiteboard that you can use. You can use the pencil, eraser, text, you can type in symbols. Um, and so there are lots of things that you can do here, but um, what I prefer to do is do the work on paper. And when I do the work on paper, I can take a picture of it and upload an image here. So I like to just insert an image, but here's the thing. I need an image. I need an image of my work. So I'm going to use my phone to take a picture and then I'm going to upload it on the computer. So I'm going to close this real quick. First I'll need to take a picture. I'm going to switch to my webcam view here so you can see what I'm doing. Now I have on my phone, um, I have my phone set to synchronize to my Google Photos. And so on my phone, if I take a picture, it will instantly synchronize to Google Photos and I can access it online. If you don't have that set up, then what you'll need to do is email the photo to yourself or set up some sort of a cloud drive that you can save the photo to. And if you have trouble doing that, I'm happy to help you figure that out. That's part of my job, so please ask. Now, I'll show you what I'm going to do. Now, I take my photos in landscape mode in landscape orientation because they do not upload well in this show work system if you take them in portrait mode. So I'm doing this in landscape mode. I'm going to take a picture of the work that I have on paper. So I'll just take a quick landscape picture here. Make sure I'm in landscape mode. Take a picture and there's my picture. Make sure it's not blurry. So I'll just close up my camera here and I can check on my phone to see if my Google Photos has has the image and yes indeed it's showing on Google Photos on my phone. So what I'm going to do is um, now I'll switch back to my screen view and what I'll do, I have this tab open for Google Photos and you'll have to excuse all my personal photos here also, but um, what I have, let's see, I may need to refresh this, see if I get the latest one, and there it is. So there's the latest one with 43 fifths as my answer. So, and I've obviously tried this a few times, you can see. Um, so I will click that check mark and I have options here, I can download the photo. And I just download typically to my downloads folder um, just on the PC because I don't save these long term, I just need them in my temporary downloads folder. I'll save and then I can go back to my assignments and get that secondary window where my homework is and I can click to insert an image and again for my downloads folder there's the image. Now I'll double click that and there's my shown work. I can say save and then I have, see now that switched from red to green. So my work is shown, my answer is correct, and I can save. So I'm all set with that. Now if, again, if you have trouble getting your work from paper to your computer where you can attach the file, please ask for help. That's something I can absolutely help you with. I know there are lots and lots of different devices out there and people use lots of different um, systems for file sharing and um, saving their photos and cataloging their photos, but there's there are all kinds of ways to do this. So 
please ask if you need help, but otherwise I think that should be it for today. So thank you.